You are the sum of your experiences. Everything that I've painted has a deep emotional connection. They all are part of a story. I mean, how many times have you driven somewhere and you get there and you don't remember anything about that trip? People have turned themselves into autopilot too much. My job, how I see it, is that I have to keep my eyes open and be conscious and aware of where I am. My paintings, I, tr I try to give that moment of bliss and that calm and serenity. So even for a fraction of a second, even as a peripheral image, you might put yourself in there and give your, your soul a little sigh of relief. I was born in France, in the south of France, in a place called Cagnes sur Mer, which is in the Mediterranean, right next to a place called Nice. So for me, I mean, born in the south of France, which was beautiful, but we moved in 1980, 79, 1980, to uh, Edmonton, Alberta. I was living in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. A brother of mine who was in uh, La Jolla, California, invites me in the middle of winter and says, well, do you want to come to California for, you know, a vacation? To which I think I was on the airplane before the phone hit the ground. And I get to his home in California and he goes, well, where's, where's your portfolio? I said, well, I didn't think I needed a portfolio for vacation. And he's like, well, no, tomorrow we're going to go meet some high level publishers in, in Los Angeles. You know, you need to show them something. I ran through his house, I found charcoals, pastels, paper, any type, and I put together a very fast little portfolio. And the next day, one of the gentlemen is looking and says, well, you did all these. I said, yes. He goes, you did all these last night. I said, well, yes. He goes, you want to do this as a living? And it's like this big aha moment where the light bulb went off and everything's like, yes, yes, I absolutely do. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Of course, delighted and thrilled to feature Alexander Renoir. And one of the people that is making that happen is John Pitcher. John, come on up. Welcome to Moonlight and the Warriors. I used to just jump into things, so I figured, oh, fine, I'll talk. But what she didn't tell me was she didn't tell me that I was going to be following the Mavericks guy. Singing my favorite Linda Ronstadt song. I gotta tell you, she is a force of nature. Give it up for Cheryl Stritchick. We started a year ago, and when we started our patrons' dinners, we introduced our vision. And you gotta say, tonight's just a little tad special with Alexander Renoir's work, as we've been on. One of the great missions that Park West has is to save art and make it available. And many of the artists that they are representing will become the great artists of tomorrow. As Cheryl said, we are a supporter of our artists. We sponsor museum exhibitions all over the United States, and I work directly with Carol Sorrell to make that happen. This is an artist that you see the range of work that he does, which has such depth and breadth, and only a creative genius like Alexander Renoir can create the way he does. There's so many parts that interlock. The music, the culture, the architecture, the history, it all culminates together. It all becomes one. Everything belongs to each other. Last night we went to the symphony and then the symphony came to us. The, the logical mind will give you every single conceivable option and every conceivable outcome and all the numbers and everything you need very strict and put down in a nice grid. But it is only the creative mind 
that can pick the right path. all and you you have to there's so much of it out there to to see and to do and to to put together and and to be able to interpret that for me that is the highest form of of honor that i can have Thank you.